today's video is going to be a Halloween edition witch look. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you haven't already, you can subscribe by clicking this button right here. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you want more Halloween tutorials, I've actually done quite a lot already. You can click on any of these around me for this look. I literally just found things that I already had in my closet, makeup I already own, and the majority of the makeup I used on my face is actually e.l.f. Yeah, we used a lot of good, cheap drugstore stuff. All right, if you guys want to see how to get this look, then keep on watching. All right, guys, so first start out with a primer like this one from e.l.f. It's very lightweight and absorbs right into the skin as you pat it in for longer lasting, crease proof eyeshadows. Next, using the e.l.f. Everyday Smoky Shadow Palette, pick up that lighter taupe shade with a blending brush and work this into the crease as you are transitioning shade. But make sure to extend this pretty far up, really close to the brow bone, and then you want to get a mixture of both the black and the darker gray to apply in the socket of the eye. Stay away from any warm shadows, guys. Keep using cool tone taupes, dark blacks, and anything that's matte because this is what is really going to help give you that sunken in look. For the lid, pack on a deep red shadow like this one from Makeup Geek in the shade Cherry Cola. Great quality, cruelty-free shadows, guys. I always highly recommend these. I'm also using Taboo from Makeup Geek, after I blend this out, into the outer half of the lid. And this is a beautiful, ultra-deep raisin purple with a matte finish. Then using a bigger, clean, fluffy brush, I am just simply blending everything out and outwards towards the temple. I do like to use a very fine tip eyeliner product like this one, the NYX Cosmetics Super Skinny Eye Marker in Carbon Black to line the eyes. It really just helps me get as close to the lash line as possible and to form that precise winged out shape you see me doing here in the outer corners. I did end up making the eyeliner pretty thick though since we are going for a more dramatic look today, obviously. Lashes are by the brand Kiss in the style Flirty. For the face, I'm going in with this foundation. It is by Sephora. It's called the 10 Hour Wear Perfect Foundation. Blending this in all over. Mixing the two lightest shades here from the e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer Palette in Light and applying this under the eye area and using a beauty blender sponge to blend it out. Then going in with this Maybelline Duo Stick. It's a highlighting and contour stick. It's pretty cool. In Light, I'm applying the highlighter side to lighten the face up overall in general. I'm just putting this all over the center of the face basically, on the forehead, uh, chin, and cupid's bow, and then I'm using the darker shade as a contour, so contouring through the cheekbone, also down near the chin and jawline area, and then again going in with my beauty blender sponge to blend everything out. Just for like one added little step, you totally don't have to do this, it's optional. I just wanted to chisel out my cheekbones even more. So I put the lighter shade right underneath of the dark shade that we blended out and then just use my beauty blender to smooth out the edges. You can also use your brush like I'm doing here that I use for foundation to blend things out as well if you feel like the lines are just looking a little too harsh. So as another brightener and also setting powder, I'm using the CC Plus powder from Physicians Formula. This stuff is great. As you can see, it just totally reflects, not reflects, reflects the light. It's awesome. I'm using my e.l.f. setting powder in translucent and my new e.l.f. brush, oh my gosh, so fluffy, to set everything and just make sure that nothing is shiny or dewy looking whatsoever. I wanted a full out matte look. I'm using this eyeliner pencil from e.l.f as not only my lip liner, but also my lipstick. I was gonna go in with an e.l.f. lipstick that I have, but to me it was just a little too shiny and I wanted to keep the matte look going, like I said, so I just went in with this and it worked. It looked great, it actually lasted a long time. I wore it for you know a few hours while I was getting all the footage outside for the intro and I, I didn't feel like my lips were dry at all. It was great. So just line the lips with that and then you can also use this eyeliner pencil to line the outer corners of your eyebrows so that they also match with the rest of this dark look. I'm using that first taupe shade we used, blending that through, and then also using this really, really light shade, only putting this on the inner corners of the eyes just to make them pop. It looks like it's hard to do, but I promise it's not. All you have to do is just make a line where the lashes grow on that lower lash line area, so not on the waterline, but right underneath it. And then you make a line just a little lower than your, where your tear duct is and draw that back up to the line that you created near the lash line. So you're just kind of slightly angling it downward 
This will just make the inner corners of the eyes look wider. Then I'm also drawing this moon shape with my NYX Cosmetics marker. The reason why I'm using this is because I just didn't want to mess this up completely, so I'm just kind of roughly drawing it in. And then I'm going in with this e.l.f. eyeliner gel. So this is much, much darker. And this is what I'm using to define the shape even more. So it's just a simple upside down moon, but like I said, you definitely want to sketch it out first to get the perfect shape. Um, since it is so striking and bold, it's right in the center of your forehead, you definitely don't want it to look messed up. Then I'm using the Katie Cat Mascara from CoverGirl to blend my natural lashes in with the falsies. Moving on to the hair, guys. You want to clip in hair extensions if you don't already have ombre blonde hair. These are from Luxie Hair. So I'm gonna have a link for you guys, like a direct link down below if you're interested in these. For the second section, I'm clipping in two four clip wefts on either side of my head. Um, for this next layer here, I'm just doing, again, some more teasing, putting in a few of the two, or one clip wefts and two clip wefts just to get even more hair. <laughs> I just teased the top part of my hair all around the crown section area with my teasing brush, sides, back, a little bit in the front, and then I brought it all back behind me to make sure it was covering the extension clips. You can either use your fingers or the back end of your teasing brush to pull some hair out and make it bigger. Bobby pins to pin it in place in the back, a little more hairspray. And I pulled some of my bangs forward, but not too much because I still want my makeup to show. And that is it for the look, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Again, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to check out my other Halloween videos as well. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye.